Hi, I'm Shopee from Learn Effects, and today I came up with this new After Effects tutorial on how to create this kind of animation for your logos using very simple tricks and without any plugin. Enjoy! In a new After Effects project, let's start by importing our logo that we want to work on. After that, we right click to create a new composition. We rename it Source Image. It's a square composition 1500 by 1500. The duration is up to you. I opted for 10 seconds. After that, we drag and drop the logo that we imported inside the Source Image composition. Now it's time to create another composition. It will be our master composition. It's a square composition 1500 by 1500 pixels. We drag and drop the source image composition inside our new master composition. Right click and we apply an effect, generate Vegas effect. This is our main effect in our project. We will play with the settings to reach the desired effect. First, let's start by opting for the transparent blending mode. To get rid of this dashed lines look, I will decrease the number of the segments to 1. Then I have to increase the opacity, the end opacity, to have a normal look or a solid look to the lines. For now, I don't have any animation to create a drawing effect. I will play on the length settings. For that, I will create a keyframe at the first frame with a value 0. And at the third frame, I will create another keyframe with the value of 1. This is the basic part of the animation. Now I have to rename this layer Long Lines before duplicating it and creating a new copy of the same layer with Ctrl D. The new copy will be the composition for the short lines. Now I will work mainly on the new layer, the short lines. I will start by updating the color white color, I will increase the width and I will try to change to play on the animation to change the style of the animation. I will start by removing the old keyframes, playing on the length parameters, we want just some very short lines. I will play on the rotation parameter, I will create the first keyframe at the first frame with zero value of the rotation. After three seconds I will create another keyframe. Uh, 360 degrees or just one rotation unit maybe the lines should be longer to be more relevant now I will try to create a sort of dissolve effect at the starting and the ending of the lines animation for that I have to create keyframes uh, for example uh, after 15, 15 frames and before the third second uh, I will play on the length of the lines, so they will start with zero value and I will end with zero value. For that I will have this animation. To give this effect more vibrance, I will create a new adjustment layer. I will apply the effect, the glow effect, stylized glow. I will update the parameters. Uh, I will choose new colors, for example, I keep the white, I will add uh, another orange color, I will decrease the threshold and increase the radius and the intensity. Feel free to play with the parameters to reach your desired effect. We can increase the effect at the completion of the animation by creating keyframes at the end of the animation by increasing the intensity and kill the effect later. Here a preview of the animation. We can enhance the animation by giving it more ease and more softness of the evolution. For example, in the starting with Ctrl Shift F9 at the end with Shift F9 it will give more ease and more fluidity to the animation. Here we are reaching the final step of this logo animation. 
and now we'll try to integrate or to drag and drop our source image to reveal it after the drawing phase. To do that, we can opt with a classic way playing on the opacity creating keyframes to create a sort of dissolve, but let's do it in a more creative way. To achieve that, we drag and drop the source image into the composition icon to create another <coughs> composition. Let's rename it Source Mask and we create a new adjustment layer in new composition. Apply a CC vignette effect. In fact, this effect will create a sort of luminosity gradient on all the colors. This will be very important and very crucial later in the transition effect that we are intending to do. Go back to the master composition layer and drag the source mask to the bottom, switch it off and apply the effect gradient wipe to the source image layer and choose the source mask as a source layer or a gradient guide for our transition. As you can see, the transition is based on the luminosity of the source mask layer. And now you can guess the importance of the vignette on the smoothness evolution of the animation. I created keyframes for the animation completion to ensure a creative revealing of the logo. Before finishing this tutorial, we can enhance the ending of the animation by duplicating the short lines layer and bringing it uh, to the front and delaying it so uh, we can have uh, this effect as a shiny or a glowing edge of the logo even after the reveal. Here we are reaching the end of this After Effects tutorial. I hope you enjoyed your time learning new tricks, new After Effects tricks. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you want, I will be more than happy to answer to your question.